It's really a thanksgiving uh, to St. Joseph for help. He's the, the father of the, the Lord Jesus Christ. So he's important to us and we should celebrate his life. It's a gesture of love for St. Joseph. We have a lot of people who put a lot of time into the Salta. It's pretty much a community effort. There are different symbols, religious symbols. There's a lot of seafood. There's a lot of symbols of Jesus and his suffering. And then to the Sicilian, we have a lot of Italian cookies. We do have um, people who put the, uh, their pictures of their loved ones on the, on the altar as a memory. A lot of the parishes that do it now are older parishes. And it's nice that the people come to visit the older parishes and see you know, that they're still vibrant. We go and visit the St. Joseph altars. Oh, it's just a wonderful, wonderful feeling. You know, it just, it makes you feel peaceful and, uh, and it really is something that I, I look forward to every year. It's inspirational. It just kind of makes you want to pray. It kind of makes you thank God for everything we have. I guess just to, to view them, is, it's all so beautiful. Religion is more than just going to church and kneeling down and praying. It's actually doing good works. Beautiful. They will bless the altar at Blessed Silos Church tomorrow at noon with a meal to follow, of course, and we'll have a full list of all those other St. Joseph altars in the area at WWLTV.com. There are so many to choose. From. I know, and they're so great. Right. All those cookies and breads and I mean, yesterday we were all Irish, tomorrow we'll all be Italian, <laughs> it's all good. <laughs>